Hi, I'm Emily of Emily's Line Fitness and welcome to this core workout with a ball. So today we are going to be working with a Pilates ball here. If you do not have a Pilates ball, then don't even worry, you can do this exact same workout without it. But I'm gonna go ahead and add it in and if you have one, I encourage you to try it. It's really gonna change the way that we work our abdominals today in a fun way exciting way. And if you don't have the ball, it's still gonna be fun and exciting, just less uh, round. Go ahead and place that ball high up between your inner thighs, tuck it in. Feet are gonna be hip width apart and parallel. And walk yourself, walk your feet rather, narrow enough where you feel that squeeze on the ball. Already you get a little bit of inner thighs activating. Drop your tailbone down towards the backs of your thighs, stacking your pelvis vertically, and bring your arms down at either side of you. Inhale, trying to root down through your feet, stretching the top of the head further to the ceiling. Exhale. One more inhale, just like that. Inhale, expanding your body in 360 degrees. Crown to ceiling, feet to floor. And on your exhale, drop your chin to your chest and use that drop of the head to ripple through the rest of your spine, rounding down vertebra by vertebra, piece by piece. Good, at the bottom you can bend your knees as much as you need, and then we're gonna walk out and find ourselves in a downward dog. So lifting the hips up, good. You can press and lift your heels here if you want a little bit more of a calf stretch, a little bit of footwork. We're gonna take it into a plank to downward facing dog. So lower your heels down, and now lift your heels up and ripple through your spine. Round your back as much as you can, coming forward into that plank position. In your plank, shoulders are over your wrists, fingers are fanning wide like two sunflowers, and your belly is pulling up and away from the floor. We're gonna lift those hips, sending them back. Press your heels down, and now lift your heels. Four counts, heels, round back, two. The plank, up, down, to that dog. Heels up, round, two, your plank, hips up, heels down, to your dog, you got it. Now keep going just like this. I wanna give some options here. If coming out into that full plank is a little too much, drop to your knees, and then pop back onto your toes for your downward dog. If you're feeling a little bit of wrist sensitivity today, you can roll your mat a couple of times and place the heel of your hand onto the mat and your fingers on the floor. That's just gonna reduce the amount of extension needed in the wrist. We're gonna hold it in our plank in four, in three, in two. Hold your plank position, just breathe. Lengthen the crown of the head out and away from the shoulders. Press your heels back, keep holding, keep breathing. You got eight. Good, six. In four, in three, two, and one. Nice, drop your knees down. I'm gonna unroll my mat because I don't need that extra support for the wrist. We're gonna keep working in our planks, but we're gonna get used to using that ball in a different way. So we'll start with our right knee on the ball, hands on the mat. Step your left leg back so you're in a little three-legged plank position. If you don't have the ball, you're gonna get rid of it and do the same thing without the ball, okay? So your knee is just pulling into the chest. We're gonna pull that right knee in and then roll it back. Pull it in and roll it back. <sighs> Pushing down into the ball as much as you can. I'm just looking at my ball and I'm like, oh, I definitely am gonna, gonna pop it. That white thing was trying to come out. So you're <laughs> sending it back and then sending it forward. If you pop your ball, it's just because the piece wasn't in. It doesn't mean that you're heavy. If I pop this ball, I'm not gonna be thinking that I was too big for the ball. It's a rubber ball, balls pop, it happens. Back. Back. Good, just using this ball in a new way, trying out a new plank. In three, we're gonna hold the knee in. In two. Hold the knee in, round your back as much as you can, and just pulse the knee in. Again, same thing if you don't have the ball. You're just pulsing that knee into the chest. You got eight. Good, six, we'll reset. Four, three, two, one. Lower the left knee down. Do the same thing, now the left knee is on the ball. So left knee is on the ball here. Hands are on the mat. 
Extend your right leg back behind you and find that plank position. Good. Ball, ball rolls in, out. Exhale in, inhale out. If you're using a much bigger ball, could be that your hips are a little bit higher. That's fine with me. I don't need to be a, um, too autocratic here with this ball, with what it's gonna look like. Anytime you use the ball, it's like playtime. So we're gonna be playful, we're gonna have fun. We're not gonna stress about perfection. In. Out, ooh, you feel your shoulders, that's bonus. We love that. I love that, maybe you don't love that. <laughs> we're gonna hold it in, we'll go for little pulses. Five, we'll round the back, we'll go for small pulses, and then we are done using those planks. Three, two, hold the knee in, round the back, pulse in, pulse in. Good, come up high on your right tippy toes, pulse in. Final eight, we're done with our planks. In six, we're done with those planks. Three, two, one, lower the right knee. All right, we're gonna keep using this ball. Again, if you don't have a ball, no big deal. If you don't have a ball, you're gonna be laying on your back with your legs extending to the ceiling, just like this. If you have your ball, same thing, but we're gonna place the ball underneath the sacrum. The sacrum is just below your lower back, just above your butt crack. It should feel like your pelvis is perfectly supported by this ball. You're not arching your back over the ball or tucking your tailbone. So find a place with the ball where the pelvis is in neutral. Belly button firms pulling into the spine, front, rib, front of the ribs pulling down into the backs of the ribs. And then bring your knees all the way up to the ceiling. We're gonna lower the legs down for four counts. Up, two, three, four, just like that. Down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Press your hands into the mat here. Try not to grab the mat. Rather, use the backs of the arms, use the pressure of your palms to activate the upper body so that you are supported against what the legs are doing to give yourself a little bit of extra balance support. Now, if this is a little bit too much, you're feeling your lower back, for example, you can take it to a single leg option. Right? Now you might be watching this, or hopefully you're doing it, <laughs> and you're thinking, oh, Emily's really not getting her legs that far down. Or maybe you're thinking, I'm not, like you're not really getting your legs that far down. That's totally fine. I only want you to lower your legs as much as you can keep control of your hips, keep control of your back, and the fronts of the ribs. So if you're lowering down a lot, ooh, and you're arching that back, go ahead and make it a bit smaller. Bigger is not always better with abs. Bigger is not always, faster, excuse me, is not always better with abs. I'd rather you work slowly and small so you really feel that connection, mind-body connection. <sighs> Exhale to lift, inhale to drop. We're gonna hold it down at our halfway point in just a moment. Good, last one. And now hold it up at just your halfway point. Point your toes and start to run your feet. You're trying to keep your hips frozen, just moving your thighs in those hip sockets as opposed to rocking and rolling your hips around on the ball. If you don't have the ball here, you're getting a little bit less feedback, but same for you. You should feel no rocking and rolling of your pelvis, just moving those thighs within those sockets. Run, 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 run. Good, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knees, you can pull the thighs into your chest. We're gonna do that exact same thing again, only we're gonna change up the positioning of the legs ever so slightly. So extend your legs up to the ceiling, flex your feet, and now open your toes so that your feet are forming a V shape. Woo, rolling off my ball here, there we go. Good, extend your legs, we're gonna lower four counts. Down, two, 
three, four, up, two, three, four. Try to squeeze your heels together as much as you can. Maybe you even get your inner knees to kiss down. Without the ball, it looks exactly the same. Down. Good, up, two, three, four. We're gonna work a little bit faster here, or a little bit shorter, I should say, a little bit less time. We're gonna hold the legs down at our lowest point in just a moment. Eight, seven. We're gonna hold those legs down at the lowest point. Keep extending the back of the knee. Four, three, two. Lower the legs as low as you can maintain control. And now we're gonna cross the legs. I'm gonna take this a little bit smaller. Cross, 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 cross. Crossing that midline with your heels. Again, keeping your hips frozen here, just moving those thigh bones in their sockets. Maybe you feel your inner thighs, that's great. There's a little inner thigh abdominal connection that we're optimizing here, we're capitalizing on. Five, we're gonna lower the feet to the floor. Three, two, one, feet to the floor, lift your hips, grab that ball if you were using it, place your ball between your knees. Now, if you do not have a ball, you are gonna keep your legs zipped together, okay? If you have the ball, ball goes between your knees and your feet are about hip width apart. Take your hands behind your head here and now press the backs of your ribs into the floor. You can press your lower back or you can work in a neutral spine, softening that lower back ever so slightly away from the ground. Inhale and then exhale, curl your head, neck and shoulders off the mat. Good, hold here. Squeeze that ball as tightly as you can. We're gonna go down for two, up, for two, squeezing the ball or squeezing the thighs together if you don't have that ball with every count. So it's squeeze, 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 squeeze. Back, back, up, up. Good, you got it. We're gonna keep the feet on the floor, give those hip flexors a little bit of a break. Nice. We're gonna hold it up in just a moment. Elbows are wide, but you can still see them in your side vision, your peripheral vision here. My whole body is shaking. <laughs> That's great. Four, we're gonna hold it up. Three, two. Hold it at your highest point. Just squeeze the ball, squeeze. Or squeeze your thighs, squeeze. We're gonna hold a big squeeze in five, big squeeze hold, four, big squeeze hold, three, two, give me one big squeeze hold, pulse the upper body forward, forward. We're gonna get into our obliques from here, make sure your chin is lifted off your chest, shoulder blades lifted off the mat. Good, squeeze a little tighter if you can, hold that one big squeeze, final eight crunches, final six, final four, Three, two, one, lower down. Good, from there, take your ball behind your right knee, and we're gonna lift both of those knees into a tabletop position. Good, we're gonna go ahead and add some rotation here. So you're gonna rotate towards your right leg. If you don't have the ball, the leg looks the same, just no ball. Extend your left leg, rotate to the right, and then come back to center, bending that left knee. It's up, twist, Back, twist, up, twist, back, twist. We're not gonna be here for very long. We're gonna hold it up in that twist. Give me two more. Last one, hold it in the twist, lower the right toes, down, lift, down, lift. You can always bend your left knee as well to make it a little bit easier. Final four, final three, two, last one, we switch sides and that's it. I'm just gonna roll around so I can keep facing you. Ball goes behind the left knee now, point the toes, lift your right leg up to tabletop, hands behind the head. We twist, extend the right leg, center, lower the leg. Twist, extend the right leg, center, lower the leg. Up, down, 
up, down. Think of pulling your right shoulder towards your left thigh. Four more, four. We're gonna hold it up. We'll go for eight drops and lifts of that left knee. Two. Last one, hold it up. Drop the left toes to the floor eight times. Eight, lift. Seven, good, hold the twist. Six, keep both of your shoulder blades lifting off the mat. Bend your right knee if you need. Four, this is it. Three, two, one, and done. Ooh, yeah. Get rid of the ball if you're still using it. Just draw some circles with your thighs in one direction, the next direction. And then rock and roll yourself up to seated, turn to face me. Give yourselves a very, very big round of applause. Thank you so much for joining me for that bar ball abs workout. We nailed it, you, you nailed it. I nailed it, you nailed it, we did incredibly. I definitely feel my abs, I hope you do as well. If you like this workout, then I'll go ahead and link you to my core playlist so you can keep working your abdominals. And if you like this video, then I encourage you to like and subscribe to my channel. It's Emily's Align Fitness and I would love to have you there. I have new workouts coming out every single Monday. A good start to your week. Again, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.